Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this I know it's a second upload of the day. That's not something I usually do, but I just got an email. I am 100% certain it is a scam, and I want to let you guys know about the scam so you guys don't fall for it. Now, I have not gone through the steps of seeing what actually happens if you do what this email says or shows, but to completely go over it a little bit, so I just got an email. Um, I was just playing a video game, and I got an email, and the email was from a guy from a uh, weird aunt email uh i'm gonna blur it and all that that way it doesn't even if it is a scam obviously i'm not gonna like dox it because that could lead to bigger issues and i don't want to do that i got an email and with this email became had an attachment and in this attachment was a picture and the picture was from geek squad if you don't know what geek squad is it is um a partner or something that's tied to best buy the company best buy and geek squad fixes your technology and all this stuff and helps you replace certain things and all this stuff now if you look at this picture I'll, I'll show it up on screen just just the logo in general like is weird like if I go and look at the geek squad logo it is not even remotely close to whatever that is it's the black and yellow Geek squad is more of a darker orange um and on this picture it shows my order ID my it shows that this is an invoice and that my date was 623 now last time I checked I did not make any purchase purchases on this very day uh, I'm I ordered food and that's really about it today that's all I really did um, and it says dear customer thank you for subscribing for subscribing geek squad total protection through us so already there's an instant problem thank you for subscribing geek squad not thank you for subscribing to geek squad total protection through us um also there should be a comma between protection and through us if i'm right this is an invoice for your recent purchase your card your card linked the the period's wrong your car your car linked with geek account has been auto debited for 350 dollars and your annual annual subscription has been auto renewed successfully if i go to my bank account it will show that I made no purchases for $350. So right off the bat, I already know something's wrong. Also, product keys, you know, all this stuff, renewal amount, um, quantity of three. I don't know where that came from. If you don't authorize this charges, you have 24 hours to 24 hours to cancel and get instant refund for of your annual subscription by contacting our customer support team. There are so many grammatical and like grammars or so many grammatical errors that this is already an issue like you already know this is a fucking scam and they have a phone number right here i'm gonna tell you right now this is a fake phone number obviously if you already know this is a scam you know this is a fake phone number and i can tell you what's gonna happen if you call this phone number you're gonna call this phone number and be like hey i'm here to cancel a subscription with geek squad and they'll be like oh okay um yeah the 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 charged amount was 350 dollars i don't remember making this this charge so if i could get this to you know to so you could give me my refund uh that'd be nice and i'm like oh okay let me get your social security or let me get your your credit card information that's what this is going to be about so just letting you guys know please do not fall for this scam and i just want to put that out there so don't fall for the scam it is is it's a new one i i didn't know this was a thing there are scams just like this, but if you do get something about Geek Squad for a $350 charge, and there's probably going to be a variable, they probably have multiple screenshots. This is a variable thing. All you got to do is if you get this email, block the email, because no Geek Squad is going to send you a picture of this invoice. They're either going to, first, there's going to be a charge to your bank account, at least a pending charge, and everything else. So yeah, don't, don't fall for the scam, and uh, that's all I really got to say. Just be safe out there, guys. I've lost multiple accounts before in the past from scammers and just viruses and stuff. So don't don't fall for this shit. Please stay safe on the internet, guys, and I'll see you guys later.